In this video, I am going to teach you how to use a manometer. First, we have to understand what a manometer is. A manometer is an instrument to measure pressure. It consists of a U-shaped tube that has two valves that it sends. It kind of looks like this. One side will measure the atmospheric pressure and the other side will measure the vapor pressure. To measure it, the manometer usually contains a liquid that is usually mercury. And it works because one side of the tube will exert a certain pressure upon the liquid that would, will cause the liquid to go higher or lower depending on the pressure on the other side of the tube. Okay. So when the gas pressure is equal to ATM in a closed manometer, you have to find the difference, which would be 500 minus 500. So, the result is zero. So, the resulting pressure will be, will be 500 minus 500, zero. In a closed manometer, when you, the gas pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure, you have to find the difference in both pressures, which you would find by subtracting the greatest pressure, which is 800, minus the lower pressure, which would be 200, and this would equal 600. So the answer would be 600 mercury and this is your resulting gas pressure. In a closed manometer when the gas pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure you have to find the difference in order to find the gas pressure. To do this you will subtract the highest value which would be 600 minus the lowest value which is 400 and you get 200 meaning that the gas pressure is 200 so basically you found the difference this difference in both pressures in an open manometer when the gas pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure in order to find the gas pressure um, since it is open, the gas pressure will equal this number right here, which is the atmospheric and the gas pressure. So we have 500, and this is our result. In an open manometer, when the gas pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure, you must first, to, in order to find the gas pressure, you must first find the difference between the two pressures. To do this, here you see delta P. To do this, you subtract the highest value, which is 600 minus 400, and you get 200. Then, because the gas pressure is lower, you have to subtract the difference from the atmospheric pressure. In this case, the atmospheric pressure is 400. You do 400 minus 200, which is the difference, and you get 200. And your gas pressure is equal to 200 in an open manometer when the gas pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure in order to find the gas pressure you must first find the difference in pressures which is delta P to do this you must subtract the highest value which is 600 
minus 400, which is equal to 200. Then, because the gas pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure, you must add the difference, which is 200, to the atmospheric pressure, which is 600. So you do 600 plus 200 equals 800. So your answer is 800 for your gas pressure.